We all know someone who struggled at school. It might be our sibling, a friend, even our own child. Maybe they couldn't read. Maybe they wrote an entire analytical essay without knowing what the word analytical means. Maybe they got C's in every subject, every year, no matter how hard they tried. It's possible that this child had difficulties using and understanding spoken language or directing and maintaining their attention. These difficulties are subtle, but they make school really hard work. Large scale studies estimate that up to four students in every class of 30 will have difficulties severe enough for a diagnosis of developmental language disorder or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And some students experience both. We know that these students fall through the cracks. They're more likely to underachieve at school, less likely to enter tertiary education and are overrepresented in mental health and justice system statistics. Because language and attention difficulties are easily missed, these students might come to believe they're just not as smart as their peers. But worse, their difficulties are often dismissed. What if you got in trouble every day for not listening or not trying? My research is testing whether simple but consistent everyday classroom practices like giving clear instructions and explaining words like analytical improves these students' understanding, engagement and achievement. From the 223 grade 10 students in my study, I identified 63 with language and attention difficulties and they're shown here in orange and red. The students shown in orange make up about a third of the group of 63. Their language and attention difficulties had been previously identified. More concerning are the students shown in red. They make up over two thirds of that group of 63 and their difficulties had not been previously identified. They had been missed. I shared what I'm learning about these students with them and their families and one girl told me, that report you sent my mum, I read it and it was really interesting how like, you collated what I felt my entire life. Like, how I can read stuff, but like, I don't understand what I read. Can you imagine going to school every day for 11 years, feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, knowing school was harder for you than it was for other kids, but not knowing why? Clearly, we don't always know which students experience language and attention difficulties, but these students don't want something different. They want clear explanations, help to understand words like analytical and teachers who check in with them. My research is testing whether these practices, when used with the 63 students' teachers, can help them to access a genuine inclusive education, whether we know they experience difficulties or not.